Hey y'all, it's me again. Um, thanks for letting me take a week off. Um, I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you for all your wonderful words and kind, the kindness you guys showed. Um, it means a lot. It really does. Um, pray for Andy, uh, which is Linda, just crochet sister's husband. Um, he needs prayers. So does she. Um, so if you don't mind, would you, would you please say a prayer for him? Also, I've got finished objects because obviously I didn't have, I didn't do anything else this week. Uh, except, you know, take care of the dogs and, uh, crochet. So, uh, uh, well, I had other things I did, but still, you know, uh, but I want to show y'all my finished <coughs> objects because I finished that's the dog. I finished all the uh, dishcloths that I needed. And I just want to say a great big shout out to Bago Day Crochet, like everybody knows who she is, uh, for the absolutely wonderful dishcloth pattern that I'm going to show y'all and the hat pattern that I use for all the other gifts. And because without her, I would have never got done. Oh, she also had the pattern for the purses that I made for the girls. So without her, Christmas wouldn't have happened this year. So thank you. All right, let's go. Of course, my sister see me making dishcloths. She wants me to make her too. Yeah, okay. So, let's make it even. I made her Christmas ones. One's a really pretty red. It's not showing up there. It's showing more of a uh, copper color on mine. But it's really red, and the white fabric has red and green in it. So, this one, obviously, is really green. It's looking teal to me. Um, but it's the red and green. It matches the green in the uh, white. So... I made her these two to hang up on her uh, uh, stove for whenever we have the Christmas party at her house. So I got those two. Hang on, because there's more. All right, y'all. <laughs> I'm just going to say it one more time. I love this cotton. Best cotton. The other cottons I used were tearing my hands up. Oh my gosh, my hands hurt so bad after using that cotton. But this is, I love this cotton here, here, and here. And what I did was it was three, di three different things. It was this one uh, kind of a beigey color with uh, the peaches in it. So I did the darker peach, and then I went light, and did the lighter peach at the top, which I thought was kind of a pretty way to do it because I was running out of yarn cotton yarn this one i love because it's so darn simple again i love this cotton uh it's a brown a speckled one with the uh, browns and greens in it but i didn't use any greens and i went with a light beige here tied, tied it in with the dark brown on the top and on the bottom i like that one um but wait, there's more. Um, I love this cotton right here. Peaches and cream here. I love this cotton. So I tried to break it up because I'm telling you, the peaches and cream and the, the sugar and cream or whatever caused my hands really a lot of trouble. But this is supposed to be teal. This is a Kind of a bright thing it's got blue teal and a light color green in it but i did the teal on top and on bottom so that got it together so that's one another one and then i did one out of oh my god this one killed me this one literally had my hands hurting for two days a peaches and cream but it's all one color Well, let back go day. Doesn't matter what you do with their patterns, they're all gonna look pretty. 
All right, you ready for the next one? One is, uh, I love this cotton is on top and peaches and cream is on the bottom. So this one is the like really part colorful part of it. And plain peaches and cream color on top. So it actually came out really cute. I like this one. And then, <laughs> I love this color so much. Yeah, I did one red. Just nothing but red. Sometimes simple is best. But since I'm giving this Christmas gifts, I did want to change up. So uh, peaches and cream on bottom. I love this cotton on top. Don't you love this one? This one's actually one of my favorites. Um, it's bright. It's bold. It's, it's actually really pretty. It made me smile uh, at the colors. Not at working with it. <laughs> Um, but it has the yellow, the green. I mean, it's just a beautiful color pattern. And then, of course, the solid yellow on top, which I loved. And look, I got a deal on the buttons from Amazon, so it worked out really well for me. Um, it's been a while since I told you a story. And my sister reminded me of one that happened when we were really young. Now, I believe I told you we had an older sister, and she was the boss of us when she was young, just, just to set the story straight. She was the boss. What she said went. Um, so I got kind of two stories to tell you. When I was about, I don't know, 18 months old, two years old, maybe, my older sister got my mother's birth control pills out of her purse and told me they were candy. I ate the whole thing. Yeah, that was one time my stomach was pumped. Apparently, I used to put anything and everything in my mouth, so my stomach got pumped pretty regularly. Yeah, apparently I never quit putting everything and anything in my mouth, because see, yeah. Anyway, the next one is, when we were younger, my mother gave us all this mullet haircut. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The long on the back and the really short up here and up here. And it's, it's not an attractive look for anybody, but on little girls, it's really unattractive. But we were rolling with it. My oldest sister came and told us that we couldn't smile for our school pictures at all. She smiled. Oh, yeah, she smiled. She didn't want to get in trouble. But my youngest sister, the one that I lived next door to, her pictures came back, and she was looking like this. She looked like it. she was just about to cry. Completely sad face. Me, I had a half smile. So I didn't get it all the way, but it was pretty darn close. So I was kind of like, yeah, just weird looking face on me. My mother saw those pictures and she lost it. <laughs> I can understand it now being an adult and being a mom. I can understand that the school pictures are what you send out to relatives. <laughs> so they know and they can, you know, follow the growth of your kids, even if they can't see them all the time. We didn't get that as kids. Honestly, we really didn't. Um, but yeah, she was not happy. And my older sister got grounded. <laughs> she knew. Yeah, she kind of knew who did it. But the one that was smiling the biggest. Yeah. She had a really good picture that year, too. Us, not so much. But I thought I'd tell y'all that. Because, you know, sometimes older sisters can get you in trouble. A bit. <laughs> but my oldest sister has taught herself how to knit. People, she's, she's running away. She's already knitted one blanket. A blanket! She's working on another one. Two, actually. So, I'm like freaking out. I am so far behind. I am never going to learn to knit like her because she's just really killing it. So, she told me the other day she learned some new stitches. And I'm like, well, I can't wait to see what she makes with them. I literally can't. And... I'm excited because I'm finally finished with this year's Christmas stuff. 
I only have one more blanket to finish off, and that's my old, my younger sister that lives next door. I gotta finish off her king size. Now, I'm gonna show it to y'all when it's done, but it's y'all gonna have to see it in little bits because it's gonna be too big to actually show it one time. Amazing! It's gonna be. It's gonna look pretty, but it not my cup of tea. But it is hers. She picked the colors for it, and I ran with it. So some of the colors I love. look so good together, but some of them I'm not so sure of. But she picked them. They're her colors. I like it. Don't get me wrong. It's just not my preference. I wouldn't have preferred to put those colors together, but she did. Um, I lose my second dog this week because her dad's going to come pick her up um, by Monday, I think. So after Monday, I won't have but one dog again. And she will be so happy. I mean, she is the most jealous thing I've ever seen. She gets so mad whenever I give him. See, he takes pills twice a day. He takes them in the morning and he takes them at night. Well, in the morning, if I don't give her something, at the same time I give him her his pills, she'll try to eat his pills. So I have to give her something at the same time. She's going to hate it when he's gone and she doesn't get anything at that time in the morning. So, <clears throat> that's going to be interesting. Oh, yeah, I did show you this one. It was sitting over here on this side. Whoops. I made checks Mix last night. Probably not the best idea. I love some checks Mix, y'all. Um, yeah, uh, the only thing I hate about checks Mix is it takes an hour. An hour in the oven. But... It's not a straight hour. It's like an hour and five, six minutes, something like that. Because you have to take it out of the oven every 15 minutes and, you know, kind of stir it up. Make it bring the bottom to the top, you know, kind of put it around and then stick it back in the oven for another 15. And do that four times. After the fourth, you know, after the uh, third time in the last 15 minutes, you pull it out and that's it. You let it set. Once it sets, then you can bag it up and you have got Chex Mix. I have one quart in the cabinet and a part of a quart in my bedroom. <laughs> yeah. And I made cookies, <laughs> chocolate chunk cookies. Uh, I'm not as into those as I thought I would be. I ate some, but they're not my preference. Do, do, I hope y'all did that. I, I don't particularly care for them that much. But, I mean, they're good. And I ate them, so they must be okay. <laughs> um, I thought of everybody. People have been sending me so many kind words in, in uh, emails and thoughts and prayers. And I appreciate them all. Um, I'm excited for the new year to see what it's going to bring. I'm going to try to uh, pick up how many videos I put out. Um, I don't know how many I can because, of course, my sister has surgery. She got her date. It's December 18th. So, four days after the Christmas party, she has her surgery. So, after the Christmas party, I have to go to her house and clean up completely. Well, I mean, I'm going to be there, so we're going to be cleaning up as we go. Um so we can have her house clean before she comes home after her surgery because she'll be worrying us stupid about it. So we got to get it done. <laughs> yeah, because she'll want to get up and, and just rearrange furniture when she should be laying down. So that's why I'm supposed to stay over there with her. And that's fine. I'm going to teach her how to crochet, if you, even if it kills both of us. I may even record some... Me trying to teach her how to crochet. And believe it or not, y'all are going to flip. I taught my daughter how to crochet. We were sitting. She knew the rudiments because I'd done them with her before. Um, but she picked it back up rather quickly. And she wanted to go on to more, more advanced things. And I was like, baby, you got you to gotta walk before you run. You know, you can't go right after the most 
you know, difficult things because it will disappoint you and then you won't want to do it anymore. Start simple. Do small projects that you get a feeling of accomplishment after they're done. Uh, don't go for these wild, crazy things. But I got her some, um, what did I, what kind of yarn did I get my sister to, to learn to crochet with? Um, it's a, it's a cake. I know that. Oh my God, I can't think of it. Ferris wheel. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Ferris wheel yarn I got her. Um, I have some uh, shawl in a ball. I plan on making a kimono for my grandniece out of. Um, because it'll be kind of light, but it's something that she can wear. And I like that idea. I mean, the kimono I have in mind is kind of a lacy kimono, but it's really pretty. Or I could always go for the cape. You know, the, the hat, put the, the hat and then the whole cape going down uh, as far as I want it. So I'm thinking I can get it pretty far with this. I have six skeins of shawl in a ball. I think I can get pretty far with those, hopefully. I hope. And I finally saw the happy crafty homemaker back. I'm so excited. <laughs> She's cute, y'all. If y'all that if y'all get a chance to see Carrie Penny, guess go check out her channel. It's called the Happy Crafty Homemaker. She's cute. Um, of course, everybody's been putting out videos like crazy the Canadian Crotcheter, um, Rose Likes Crochet B, uh, Bag of Day, uh, Madonna even put one out before I did. Linda, just a crochet sister, put one out. I mean, there are so many videos out. I am just watching up a storm. Um, and I am. I'm keeping up. I'm trying to keep up with everybody. It's not easy, but I'm trying. And I'm going to start back because um, it stopped off with Crochet Jewel on my list. So I have to start back up to uh, what I want to want, what I'm going to watch to to tell y'all about whether or not what I like about the channels. I'm not going to tell you any negatives. I'm done with that. Mm -mm, no. But I will tell you what I like about the channels and what I watch the channels for because there are different things I watch each channel for. Um, Rose Like Crochet Rose Likes Crochet B is um, I like just watching her. She's a hoot. And then, um, but the secret yarnery, Krista, she also puts out tutorials. And she knows a whole lot about ice yarns, which if I ever get enough money to order from them again, I, I really would like to. I want to try their uh, favor and saber. They're two different kinds. It's favor and then it's saber. But I want to try both of them because they look like something I would be interested in. Um, comparable to yarns that I use now. If I could find something like I love this cotton, I'd be so happy. But it has to be a full weight because I am just not good at working with anything under a four. Honest, I struggle. I really do. And it I don't understand it. I can work with a four. I can actually work with a very light four, which is closer to a three. But it has to be really well wrapped. It's got to be a nice strand. It can't be a fuzzy or, you know, anything like that. Because I'll freak. Don't know why. Um, oh, dang. Don't you hate that when a song goes through your head whenever, you know, don't know why. Yeah. Went through my head at the same time after I said that. <laughs> yeah, I'm unique. Guys, I really am unique. <laughs> But I've missed y'all, and um, I just wanted to get on here, show you what I've finished. Um, I'm going to be working on the king size blanket next, and then I get to start and do all kinds of unique things that I just want to try. Um, not necessarily uh, keep for myself, but I just want to try them. I just want to do something different. 
And what I have decided is at the first of the year, I'm going to, every project I make that I don't keep for myself or give to my sister, I'm going to ask y'all if y'all want to do a giveaway on it. Because my sisters, my oldest sister suggested that if I do something that y'all might like, that maybe y'all would rather have that as a giveaway. I don't know. Personally, I'd like to stick to the happy mail, but I didn't do it for November, and for that, I am sorry, y'all. I just have run out of time. Completely. But I plan on doing a drawing in December to be sent out at the first of the year. So y'all keep an eye out in December for a video. And I may even do it on my birthday. I don't know, but that's kind of late in the month, so I'll probably do it before. Um, but y'all have a wonderful day, and enjoy it, and make sure you tell your family every single day that you love them. And, oh yeah, Summer's Tips and Stitches put out a new video. Sorry, I knew there was another one, a major one that I watched, and there's more, but, you know, I can't think of them all. Um, yeah, I just can't. I've been watching so many videos. <laughs> <laughs> um, but y'all have a great day and enjoy it and um, enjoy your weekend and I hope y'all got some really good deals on Black Friday and if you did let me know what you did what you got um, or let me know what you're working on um, every time y'all comment I love it because I read them all uh, as y'all can tell because I kind of heart when they read and um, yeah I enjoy reading y'all's comments and seeing what y'all are doing. So if you don't mind, would you do that? Um, I'm still far, far away from 1,000 uh, subscribers and my sister shocked me. The one that doesn't like me to dye my hair bought me this. Y'all thought I was gonna look like a rainbow before? I'm definitely looking like a rainbow now. There are so many colors in here, y'all. So many colors. So, yeah. My hair is going to be the most colorful hair in the world. Not as colorful as ours, but really colorful. So, I will talk to y'all later. Have a great day, and bye.